Well, people, this is Franchi Pearson, and thank you for joining me. Franchi Blue, let's say it together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Yes, if you long for that kingdom, that kingdom will come. How many guys longing for that kingdom? Oh, yeah, I want to get on up out of here. But until then, we're going to do it. We're going to endure. Today, I want to do this video in two parts. I want to talk about the possible symbolism that's going on before us. And I also want to analyze Trump's words. Why are these stars on his head? Three small lines, three large lines, the red and black. I've been teaching guys for years that the red and black is symbolism. Why on his head though, like a wound? I'm just asking. Never in American history has a former president or a sitting president been depicted in this way. Why now? I'm gonna say it again. Never in the history of this country has a president or a former president been depicted in this way. So what's really going on? Ask yourself what's going on. Trump on trial. Let's look at it in Jamaica. Trump on trial. In reduction, it means 60. In reduction comes out to 60. Let's look at a calculator. If we take 366, that's this year, minus 60, it gives you 306. What does that remind you of? Did you know that Joseph Biden got 306 votes? That's what he got. 306 votes in the Electoral College. That's right. For Biden. That's right. Funny, I just come up with this all of a sudden. That's what he got. See that there? Joe Biden got 306 votes. Trump got 232. The difference between those counts is 74. And Trump just happened to be 74 years at the time, 74 years old at the time when he lost to Joe Biden that day. And it's been a fight ever since. 306. So again, we got Trump on trial, right? We got Trump on trial. And Trump on trial comes out to what? 60 in reduction. Might be peculiar, but 60 minus how many days in a year is what? 366 because of leap year. And then also look at this. Trump alone comes out to 88. And his what? Text number is 88022. Let's hasten on. We're gonna go over these reporters. Trump did an interview yesterday. First interview in relation to the 34 counts. But I wanna show you some rock colors. Look at the borders. Like a Tiffany blue and an orange, I'm gonna show you that. Red tie, black stripes, that's sacrifice. Black and white would mean, means you play both sides. And he's got on like a red and yellow tie. That's rock colors with the red, white, and blue. We're gonna go through that. It's, symbol it's symbolism all over this man, trust me. And then of course he does this all the time, not gonna debate that. Look at his hands like a pyramid. Is he speaking without speaking? And I'm asking for what? And is he in concert with something? That's what I wanna know. Is he in concert with something? The hands folded. I know people do that from time to time, but he do it all the time. He also does this all the time too. We don't question it, like, like a six symbol. Is it in our face? Now, I want you to, I want you to just marry in on a few things. And I want you to see 
images. I'm going to show you. See this here? This is the fireplace he's sitting in front of. Shaped like a pyramid with a fire. But what is this? And is that a black space in this like head formation? Translated, is, the, is this a body of a snake in a pyramid? I'm just asking you. We're going to go there. It's so tight. It's so tight. Now, why have I done that? Because back in the day, a guy named Tyree Nichols, who was killed in Memphis, I talked about a fireplace then. And in the videos back in the day, I brought up that I saw a snake in the fire. Fangs, fangs, mouth, mouth, and an eye. Watch the eye. He's sitting next to a fireplace. Look at it and look in it. Is that a serpent? Is that a serpent? Is that a neck and is that his body? It's deep, y'all, what they allegedly do. So I don't think I'm far-fetched in asking about this pyramid that Donald J. Trump is sitting in front of. Is that a head of a snake? Here we go. Remember, Tyree Nichols was beat by six black men, police officers, back in the day. And there's his dad, his stepdad. Look at the jacket he's got on. Are those like fish or, or snake scales? When he was interviewed, that's his mother. But look at this here. Look at that. I did a video on that, a few videos on that. People got mad at me, but I asked a question. All right, so now let's go. I said, let's go. So now we got Electoral College, 306. Trump on trial, 60. Leaves, 306. And now we got this interview. Now you see him? Red and black, black and white. And he's got the red and gold tie. The sun guy, Ra. Is that what this is about? Then look at the border. Gold, orange, and yellow, Ra colors. And the Tiffany blue is a Phoenician. I just deep, y'all. Let's type it in, sun guy. Sun, guy, Ra. For those of you all first time with me, God, God bless you. These are the people that are running the world behind the scene. And there's the snake on top of his head. This is the sun god. This is what they're bringing back in our time. Ra. Sun god. You'll see him in green every now and then, which I don't get into. But every now and you'll see, you'll see the green. Sun god. Ra. Deep, y'all. I'm going to have to go deep this afternoon. So let's listen to this video right quick and go from there. So that could set the, uh, the arraignment date for four days before the RNC. Yeah, well, that's part of the game. It, it is. Uh, someone suggested you could appeal straight to the Supreme Court because of the yeah. special nature of this case. Um, when it comes to the legal maze that you're still facing, and yeah. they could, the judge could decide to say, hey, house arrest or even jail. It could. Have face it could. What that could I'm look. okay with it. I saw... One of my lawyers the other day on television saying, oh, no, you don't want to do that to the president. I said, don't, you don't beg for anything. You just, the way it is, think of it. They have all my books. You know, they went to, for five years, they sued me getting my tax returns, right? At the end of five years, they got them. The Supreme Court actually gave it to them. That was the end of it. That, that was it. They never found anything. They hired the best accounting firms. I have... I had a, a pure gold firm. They call it a gold-rated firm. I don't know how it's supposed to be. Who knows? But with all that stuff, for years you heard about yeah. my tax. You they never looked into the Clinton Foundation. And the so look at all these colors again. Is that coincidence they would have these rock colors, orange and gold, orange and yellow, and the Tiffany blue, which is the secondary color of the Phoenician? Is that, you think that's coincidence? Let's go further. We'll build on this. Listen to her words here. Watch this. Before that phase of this unprecedented case arrives in July, Trump and his GOP allies are saying the appeals process should leapfrog to the Supreme Court. And leapfrog. Leapfrog. Don't forget that. 
Notice how she put her hands out there. Going to leapfrog, baby. Watch. Case arrives in July. Trump and his GOP allies are saying the appeals process should leapfrog to the Supreme Court. And joining us now, NBC News correspondent Dasha Burns, New York trial and appellate lawyer Mark Zauderer, and New York law school professor Anna Kaminsky. So, Dasha, sentencing in July, just a few days before the RNC. What kind of legal activity can we expect between now and then? And what else are we hearing from Donald Trump in the wake of this verdict? Well, yeah, of course, you heard he did on to social ask for the Supreme Court uh, to step in. He is criticizing, once again, uh, D.A. Bragg and Judge Bershon. And the timeline between now and then, we are likely to see some activity on the part of the prosecution. D.A. Bragg neglected to say what they would pursue, but he said that... Now ask yourself, she said the word leapfrog. And why are these colors representing? Again, sun god, Ra, is your rust orange? Is this on purpose? Is this coincidence, people? You gotta ask this. You from the background, and that red and black keep standing out. Let's go further. Now look at this. Look how ominous that is. Three six. That's six. That in conjunction with six weeks. That on 7-Eleven, they'll uh, sentence him. And then we got what? 19 of these X's. 19. What is 19? We talked about that before. Read that. This here causes chaotic behavior. 19. This caused chaotic behavior. Do you understand? How they depict in the moment? That's what I'm asking. Are they speaking without speaking? When you see this here, are they speaking without speaking? There's 19 of these in his head. In his head. Okay. Then ask yourself, what else we got here? This here. The monster drink. Let's look at that. Remember we talked about that in the past? The monster drink. In Hebrew, every one of these represents six, 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 six. Those three lines. When we look at how they're depicting him, is this six, 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 these lines? Is it six, six, six? I'm just asking people, just want y'all to think now. Now let's go further. I want you to look more at this, this fireplace. People, this is Fox and Friends. It's a six minute and 20, it's a 11 minute video. Fox and Friends, they did it yesterday. Again, look at the colors. Speaking without speaking, Tiffany Blue, that's, that's from, that's Phoenician secondary color. But you got the rock colors there. And you got this here. You tell me that don't look like a pyramid? And then these are upside down triangles in shadow. Think about it. This black looks like upside down shadow of a pyramid. And this looks like an upright pyramid. But like I said to you before, when you zoom into this, this looks like a head, like a snake head with an eye. Now, I had to really concentrate on this. And my mind went back, way back, to this. Higher ground. And guess what? It's Barack Obama. Barack Obama created Higher Ground, his multimedia project. I did a video on it on Franchise Pierce in my old channel. For those of you all who didn't know, I had a channel, over 2,000 videos, 116,000 subscribers, and I'm fighting back. But look at this here, higher ground. Look at the formation, like a pyramid. And look at that.
do you see any resemblance? And is there a snake right there? How these pyramids, I'm just asking. It's deep, y'all. Higher ground. It was created on June 6th of 2019. June 6th of 2019. They got together with Spotify. They have a partnership, Higher Ground, Barack Obama and Spotify. They make communications like films and stuff. So we're saying June, June 6, 2019. If you take June 6 of 2023 and bring it up to date, subtract it from yesterday's date, when Trump did his interview about the 34 counts, the difference is 363 days. Come on, man. Is that coincidence? 363 days before, see? Before yesterday's date. So the anniversary was 626-23. Subtract that anniversary date from yesterday, get 363. Now look at this. Remember the Remember she said leapfrog? I'm gonna leapfrog into this thing? Tell me why leapfrog comes out the 44. And who's the 44th president? Wouldn't that be Barack Obama? Look, y'all, look. I told y'all, we gotta go there today. Look at that. And look at this, she said Supreme Court. Supreme Court reverse Dramatra comes out to 150. Let's do the math. If you take 150, subtract it from 366, you get 216. Why is that significant? And why did I use 366? Because it's a leap year this year. And 216, the 216th day of the year is August 4th. Who was born August 4th? Barack Obama. Then let's go here. Yesterday, Trump interviewed on 6-2 of 2024, subtracted from Barack Obama's birthday, 8-4 of 2024. The difference is 63. Why these 63s keep coming up? The devil's number, Mark of the Beast, Book of Revelation. Three sixes, 666. What you think? What else I got here? 11-5 is the date of the election between Trump and Biden. Inaugura inauguration day is 1-5 of 2025. The difference is 222 or 77. Trump is 77 years old right now. And what's 222? One, one of my followers got me caught back up on my stuff, so I should have his picture. It's 222, it ain't pretty, baby. I say it ain't pretty. Don't even think I made a copy of it terrible for me not for me doing that but yeah 222 two, two. that's a dastardly number looks like I've blown it again but hey let's go into it in Jamatra just just a simple a simple way of doing it I know it means like mark of the beast can you do it that way Two, two, two. Let's see what we got here. Don't think we can do it this way. Let's see. So, I do not have that again. I hate when I do that kind of stuff. It's in the phone that I'm utilizing now. But it deals with Barack Obama. It deals with Satan. It deals with a variety of things. And I just forgot to pull it up, but I do have it. So I'll post it in the description, 222. Let's hasten on. I forgot to make a copy of it. Okay, what else do we have here? Leapfrog, 150, 63 inch, that. 
and then we got the 222. That's right. And then Biden and Trump agree on June 27th to have the debate. If we take June 27th coming up, subtracted from the first day that Trump put the court on 422, the difference is 66. Some of these numbers ain't speaking. And then I guess the finale is this. I might have more. Let me see what I got. The day that uh, Trump got his 34 counts was 530 of 2024. Subtracted from Barack Obama's birthday of 8-4, 2024, difference is 66. What, what interesting times are we living in, baby? Look at this. And the 34 counts, everything is there. Everything is there. And then we got 711 is the day that he goes to court for his sentencing. Subtracted from the anniversary of the Middle East War, 10-7 of 2024 anniversary. The difference would be 88. Again, I will put that 222 in the description. It's deep, y'all. Tell me what you think. Interesting video. Why are you doing all this uh, quote unquote uh, symbolism allegedly in our face? What are they, are they trying to speak to us? Do you think these are the last days? Do you think the good Lord is coming again? Tell me how you really feel and tell me what you think. Is something brewing? I say there's something brewing and I say that they've been speaking to us for quite a while. And what I do is just decode and reveal it as it is. Are those snakes in the fire? I'm gonna say it again. Do you have, did you see snakes in that fire? I believe there was something there just like it was in the Tyree Nichols. And when it came down to the higher ground, did you see anything there in the pyramid? I'm French Shot Pearson, let me know what you think. The sun god Ra is real. And yes, he is over the clouds in the sky. God bless you and God keep you. Don't forget I have a book on Amazon Books titled Protect the Gift. Go to Amazon Books, 60 plus poems, inspiring, beautiful poems, a poem about the last Christmas. You can help support the channel by buying a book on Amazon Books titled Protect the Gift. Amazon Books, French Shop Pearson. God bless.